Hey everybody, welcome to A Stable Life. Today's gonna be a pretty good day, although it's super foggy, super cloudy out as you can see. Uh, you can definitely tell fall is setting in, colors are happening, things are looking beautiful. But first things first, we gotta get some horses fed, so let's get to it. Today's exciting, guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. Because we've got a lot to do today and not a lot of time to do it. For starters, it's one of the best days of the week. That's right, oh yeah, manure day. Now I know what you're thinking, Joel, that doesn't sound very exciting at all. Well, you'd be right actually, it's, it's not very exciting. In fact, probably one of the worst days of the week, but hey, someone's gotta do it, right? So every single stall in our stable has muck buckets and uh, those muck buckets get filled. And then throughout the week, I come through, grab those muck buckets, load them into a little trailer that we have and take them down to our compost pile. So that way it's taken out of the stable and everything's kept clean and organized in the horse stable. Which means that every week I gotta go through and grab all these muck buckets of manure and dump them in the wagon. Sometimes you can imagine, it's pretty powerful. I noticed you guys were all talking about what was on this chart here. Well, here you go, here's the breakdown. So the way it works is each st stall is lined up in one little bracket, and then each grain is color-coded. You'll notice that Calm Ultra is black for the Calm Ultra, main menu is blue for the main menu, and you'll notice that Safe Choice Maintenance is purple for the Safe Choice Maintenance. Each column is broken down. We feed twice a day. So we have our morning feeding and we have our evening feeding. So that we can keep each horse organized when we are taking the grain and putting it in their stalls, the horse's stall is arranged in the same way the buckets are. So when you see me walking down the aisle with a handful of buckets, the first bucket on the top is gonna be arranged for the first horse in the stable that we'll be going to. So since Tucker, is the first horse that we're working on, his bucket will be the last because he's the last stall all the way at the end of the stable. And since Casino is gonna be the first horse we're going to, he's all the way at the other end of the stable on the left, he's going to be the last bucket we put on because then he'll be at the top of the pile. So it works backwards. You go Casino, then Archer, then Declan, all the way through to Tucker. And that's the same on this side. This is one herd, this is another. So notice that in the afternoon, there is different supplements that each horse gets. We try to arrange it so that the horses get the right supplement at the right time. So being that we're feeding at the afternoon around 3 p.m., we give most of the horses their supplements in the evening feeding or the afternoon feeding. There you go. There is a brief explanation of our chart. It changes daily based on the horse's dietary needs as well as if we get any new horses in the stable. You guys have any more questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer them. So, as you saw, we got another new horse. So in our previous video, our new horse was Casino, but now we also have a horse named Tucker. And he's similar in size to Weather, which is a very beautiful horse that we have on our stable. Tucker has a, uh, an infection on his face that occurred while he was off property. And when he arrived, we worked on clearing it up and ended up not clearing up a vet was called. And so now Tucker is getting some pills to help clear up that infection. He gets 18 pills uh, that are antibiotics per feeding. So that means that he's getting over 36 pills a day. And you'll understand when you see the size of Tucker. And don't worry, don't worry. We had a professional come and diagnose the situation and that's what he needs. To make sure that Tucker's getting all of the pills that he needs, we take the pills and put them into a crusher and crush them up into a dust and mix it with his feed. So as I'm walking down, you'll notice that we have Casino's grain right on the top here, and I'll be able to take that, dump that right in the stall, and move right on up, just as it is according to the list. Hope I was clear with that. Clear as mud? Clear as mud. <laughs> you know how funny it is when you're walking up and down the aisles and you look in there and you just see those two staring at you like that? Oh man. I'm coming, Casino, I'm coming. 
He doesn't like waiting, that's for sure. <laughs> that's one thing you'll learn pretty quick about horses is that they have absolutely no patience. But when it comes to you working with them, you better have all the patience in the world if you want to get anything accomplished. All right, grains in, next up is hay. No one ever told me when I was starting to run a camera that everything's a lot harder to do with one hand. I'm learning that the hard way. Okay, we got all the hay in, we got all the grain in. And normally this would be the time when we can let the horses in. But being that it's manure day, that means I gotta get all the manure out of the stalls and into the aisleways. How are you thinking? What? Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, you'll see. You'll see. All the manure gets thrown into these muck buckets and all I have to do is come through, pick it up, take it out of the stall and set it in the aisleway. And then rinse and repeat for the other 19 horses that are here. This one's a heavy one. That being said, I only think Casino takes the cake on heaviest bucket for so far. So far. Always room for more contenders. All right, Casino, your time to shine. Do you know where your stall is? You made more of a mess for me to clean up. Go ahead. Let's see if he knows where his stall is. What do you guys think? You think he knows? Ooh, so far so good. Oh yeah, casino, you lit. Boom, look at that. He now knows where his stall is. That's pretty exciting. Makes things easier for me. I also noticed you guys wanted to learn more individually about each of the horses. And I think that that is an absolutely fantastic idea. So, if you guys see a horse that you're interested in and you want to learn more about, let me know down in the comments below. From what I was reading, I have a few that I'm going to be zoning in on today. Okay, I'm going to keep grabbing this manure. I'll, I'll see you guys once they're all in the highway. All right, we got this section done. We got this section done. That means it's time to let some horses in. Yeah, I, I forgot that I had to clean that stall. Sometimes you just get ahead of yourself. It's just what happens. Got my trusty shovel. Let's do this. A little known fact for you. Uh, I actually started scooping manure when I was about 12 years old, and that was what my first job was. Scooping manure in a three-acre pasture every day. It was pretty amazing. Eventually, I got upgraded from a wheelbarrow to a wagon you pull behind the ATV. Let me tell you, I was living the life then. That was the good stuff. Clean as a whistle. Okay, now we can let some horses in. Now that I think about it, how many times have I said now we can let some horses in? Because I know it's more than once. I know that. Go ahead, Poncho. Here you go, buddy. I'd like to introduce you guys to our newest horse here and the Sunny Oil family, Tucker. He's what I would call a gentle giant. Uh, I think he's our tallest horse that we have here. He's about 17 hands high. And he's super hungry. So he's going to go right past me and go right in. He already knows his stall, believe it or not. He's a quick learner. And don't confuse him with weather because he's not weather. That's Tucker. Tucker and weather look very close to each other, but they're different animals. I'll give you guys a closer look at Tucker a little bit later on in the video. In case you're wondering, we've got Falcon, and that one's Champ, and then after that we have Danny, or sorry, Poe, goodness, Jack, and then last but not least, good old Rebel. Rebel is one of my favorite horses in this stable. Let me just tell you, he's named Rebel for a reason, if you can understand what I'm getting at. And Poe and Danny look a lot alike, so just forgive me on that one, okay? Most ferocious animal of them all. What a killer that one is. And if you're looking for weather, he would be the horse right there. That's weather. Ah, 
I mean, they could practically be twins. Time to close some doors. Fence is looking nice. Okay, we have our hay out in our feeders. Next up, we're gonna go hook up to some manure wagons. We actually have three wagons now that we have manure in, and all are put in different positions so that when I'm not here, uh, the borders can take manure and just dump it in the wagons for me to take down to the compost pile. And then there's also the stalls, which you saw all the muck buckets filled with. And we'll get to that in a moment. I just wanted to take this moment to say, man, it is just gorgeous today. Hmm. Nothing like a foggy fall morning, let me tell you. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's wagon number one. What are you seeing, pup? What are you seeing? She's a nice watchdog, let me tell you. She sees everything that's coming. And sometimes, even when there's nothing coming, she's always there to alert us that there's nothing there. This process pretty much goes exactly as you'd think it would. I drive along with the four-wheeler and dump all the manure tubs in the wagon and then take it down. If you've ever watched your garbage man or your sanitation engineer running down your uh, side road and grabbing your garbage, that's pretty much what I feel like when I'm doing this, but keeps the stable clean, and I love the result afterwards. A clean stable makes happy horses, that's for sure. Hey, Tucker, you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I just checked. He is just a Percheron. There is no cross. So, he's pure Percheron, which explains why I'm six foot three, and he's absolutely massive. Gentle giant, though, that's for sure. Fun fact, did you know on cool mornings, manure steams? There you go, fun fact for the day. Also, I'm sorry guys, it's really hard to film picking up those tubs and dumping them in that wagon with one hand. Just didn't work out that way. But you can imagine me struggling and then spilling manure on my foot, looking at the ground, being mildly upset, and then having to clean it up. I wasn't joking. Hey, did you subscribe yet? Just checking. You know, there's nothing quite like a man his quad and a wagon load of manure behind him. I'm pretty sure there's a life lesson there somewhere. Load number two is away. Load number three away. You guys tired of seeing manure yet? Because there's always more. There's always more. <laughs> I know a normal person would use a shovel or a pitchfork, but I've been doing this a rather long time and I've noticed that my foot just works just as good. Being around the stuff since you were 12 just kind of makes you not really get affected by it as, as most people would. Oh, by the way, I just thought I'd mention if you got a question in regards to what we do with the manure, well, it stays down there for the majority of the year where it composts and turns into a nice rich black dirt. After it turns into that rich black dirt, the veggie boys and I will scoop that up and we'll take that over and we'll spread that on certain fields that we grow grain on. And uh, that, that fertilizer is mixed into the soil and it adds nitrogen in for our next crop. So there you go, the circle of life. Hey Rocky, hey Buster. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, I'm getting their halters. I'm not having what happened to me last time. Little rascals. Like you guys were rolling in the sawdust, I see. There we go. Gotta get you brushed up too, you're all dirty. There you go. Boy, you guys look dashing with your halters on, let me tell you. Brushes out. I'm gonna start with you, Buster. Okay. Rocky, you're up next. All right, you guys look ready to be let out. All right, I have complete faith in these donkeys. They know exactly where to go. That way. Guys, it would seem my faith was misplaced. Now that's the right pasture. It wasn't necessarily how that was supposed to go, but uh, hey, they're in the right pasture and that's what we're gonna call a success. All right, guys, come on, we gotta get you out. Help me out, Scoots, help me out. We gotta push them out. 
Come on, Skywalker. Come on, Spitfire. Let's go. Come on. Come on. That's right. Leia told you it's time. It's time. Let's go. She's a no-nonsense kind of dog. You guys know that. And that's going to wrap things up for feeding, guys. There's only going to be one thing left that we got to do, and that's get grain. So I'll see you guys in the truck. We use our horse trailer to go and pick up the feed for our horses. I just stick a pallet in the back and then fill the pallet up with feed. It's uh, easier on the truck. That way we don't have too much weight sitting on the rear axle. I guess we never emptied out the horse trailer from fixing that fence. Okay, so we ended up getting some of the bags taken care of. Just enough room to put a pallet in. And uh, let's, just, let's just not act like that's there. Everything's fine. Close the door and it's gone, right? Pretty sure that's the mentality that got me here in the first place. But hey, who cares? What they gave you. Just a small amount of feed this time. Sometimes we'll get pallet loads that'll go all the way up. Being that we're still on a summer fall feeding, we're not using near the amount of grain that we would be using in the winter. So just a small load today. We need to go borrow a specific piece of equipment that I currently don't have. So we're gonna go over to the other side of the farm and grab that piece of equipment. I'm gonna borrow my uncle's skid steer. It's easier for getting that pallet load of grain over through the stable to the feed room, and it makes it easier for me to not have to carry the bags so far back and forth. Okay, so as you can see, skid steer makes things easy. I would have loved to film driving through the aisleway with the skid steer, but it takes both your hands to drive the skid steer and the camera does not like to cooperate when you're trying to use both your hands to drive. That's for sure. All right, all of our feed bins are topped off and full. Our pallet is emptied, so that's gonna be it. I'm going to run that skid steer back before it's missed, but this is going to be where we're ending the video for today, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you later. Bye everybody.